Hi there, welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. I'm Ranga and I'm doing a hike called the Rupin Pass and I'm recording this video about microservices on the hike. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, in this video we would be talking about two different things about a microservice. Any microservice needs to be able to do these two things very well to be able to call a microservice. What are those? The first one is micro plus service, small component, small independently deployable components. What do I mean by independently deployable components? When we talk about independently deployable components, we are talking about small components which you can take to production or to which you can take live without affecting a lot of other components. So when you have microservice architecture, you'd have a lot of small applications, small components, small APIs, small services. And you should be able to take each one of these individual applications live without making a change on the other applications. And that's what we call as independently deployable applications. You should be able to take an application through the cycle of a dev, QA, stage, and prod without affecting the other stuff. Now, is it really important to be independently deployable? What does it enable? The most important thing that an independently deployable component enables is faster releases, right? So you'd be able to take things live much, much faster. Now, why is it important to take things live faster? Because your business innovation depends on it, right? So if you get an idea today, if you take six months to implement it, that's too slow. Your, combination, your competition might overtake you and uh, the idea might be useless after six months. And that's where microservices architectures come in and they help you to implement stuff much more quickly. I mean, obviously, if it's done right. That's the first part about microservices. Independently deployable, small components. The second thing about microservices is all related to the buzzword of the last decade or so, cloud. Why is cloud important? Because loads on the applications vary throughout the year. It's not that I would have the same load on the application starting from January to December. The load on the application varies. And if you are, let's say, a typical online shopping application, then you would have a lot of load during the Thanksgiving day. Maybe 15 times, 20 times the usual load. And you need a lot of infrastructure to support it. And if you buy the infrastructure to support it, then think about what it would be doing during the rest of the period when you don't have so much load. It would be sitting idle. Rather than that, wouldn't it be good if I can actually procure some infrastructure from the cloud, use it for the period where I have peak load, deploy the applications there, use them from there, and then give it back to the cloud. So that's what microservice architectures also enable. So there we go. Those are the two important things that are related to what is a microservice question. A microservice is a small independent component which can be deployed on its own. Number two is it's cloud enabled. You should be able to dynamically provision it and deploy it and be able to dynamically scale up and scale down as per the needs of the business. So there you go. Until another video, bye-bye.